All this month, CCO is going to the frozen lake. There are so many great places to see in this state. This time around, Mark and Amelia headed out. Amelia's suitcase? Rosie's suitcase. Well, you, you do know we're only going overnight. You do know we're only going overnight. After packing the mobile weather watcher yesterday, the two headed about an hour north of the Twin Cities to Mora. And here's what they've been up to. Good morning, everybody. We are here in Mora. It is a city right outside of the Twin Cities, about 70 miles or so. Yeah, easy it, drive. It, absolutely. It's known for its cross country skiing, and it's also known for the Mora Vasilovic, which starts this weekend. It was started by Glenn and Jean Johnson back in 1973. The first year they had 98 skiers. This year, now thousands of them put together by 700 volunteers. It is really a community effort. Everybody comes together. The race day is this Saturday. And one of the big results of this is this Fast Tracks program. Really cool. They start uh, skiing early here in Mora. You know, very young age. The Fast Tracks program has been teaching kids in kindergarten through sixth grade how to cross country ski for more than 20 years. In fact, a lot of these kids end up skiing in the high school team and go to the state tournament. Yeah, it's really wonderful. Mora is actually the sister city to Mora, Sweden. And early, early settlers came from Sweden. They were here in Mora. And if you look around the town, you can see that they're very proud of their heritage. Right in the downtown, you will see the Mora Klaka. That is a giant clock with bright colors. And then there's a Dala horse. It's a, a 23 feet tall. And the, uh, obviously, the small souvenirs are much <laughs> smaller. The dollar horses are much smaller than that. we got a very busy day yeah. ahead of us today, too. We're going to be doing a, a fat tire bike race and spark sleds, which I'm kind of intrigued. I guess we could do our grocery shopping using those as well. Yes. I'll find out about Any that. kind of shopping. Yeah. You know <laughs> exactly. I'm all up for that. She likes to shop. <laughs> we'll see you later. So it's not all about skiing in Mora that right. they have other things that they're going to be doing today. As you saw, and yesterday they had a guide, Julie Lane, take them out on Knife Lake oh, to go absolutely. ice fishing. Did you really, did you yeah, dog Buddy. See Buddy did there, really, too. A lot push. of trash talk going on in the ice house. Oh, yes. Was, you got it. Yeah, as you would imagine. Here, now, I don't know which one of these two do you think is a better <laughs> angler ice angler, I'm, Amelia I'm or Mark? I think Amelia, and it's not close. Well, well, well Mark well, does well, carry around a picture of a, of a very large fish that he caught in his wallet one time, so... Yeah, nothing biting for the two of them. Amelia, obviously, very focused on the task. <laughs> this is ice fishing, though. I mean, that you, is. You just do yeah. something else while that exactly. is happening. <laughs> Hurry up and wait.